There are myths that scared the whole internet. On your smartphone, there are living spider mites and worms. After the internet freaked out and some call it fake, I had to reveal the truth. I grabbed a two week, a two year and a 20 year old smartphone and put them under the microscope. Even though I was searching for living creatures, I also had to capture the beautiful and somehow disturbing micro world that can be found on the screen, camera, LED light and on your phone case. When taking a closer look on the screen, you can see the single pixels popping out. When getting even closer, you can see that their height is totally different, as only one color can be in focus at the same time. Especially the LED light of the two-year-old phone showed some incredible structures, which I had to share with you. Beneath the circular pattern, a lot of dust and skin particles showed up, but no living mites visible here. Now let's take a closer look on the phone case. This is absolutely beautiful. Psychedelic rainbow colors appear and reveal a unique pattern that could hang on my walls as a print. Let's switch back to the phone. As the video with the mites were recorded near the frame, let's take a closer look. All kind of gross stuff can be found here, but again, no living mites. I didn't even know that my phone was damaged. Maybe I should start putting everything I own under the microscope. I'm pretty sure that there's a lot more to explore. After taking a closer look on the text on my phone and some bigger particles, it was time to put my 20 year old Samsung S2 to the test. And the first thing I discovered was gold. Look at those awesome structures. As the phone laid in my basement for years, my guess would be that some kind of glitter particle found its way to the screen. When I was checking the lens for living creatures, I discovered that the lens was completely taken over by fungus. That's really one of my nightmares, because most of my gear I use is storage beneath my mushroom grow tent. But pretty cool to see how the mycelium grew and the broken phone was used as a home for some microbes. Now let's check the edges and grooves where all the kind of dust particles would be a good food source for mites. Interesting glowing stuff here, but nothing alive. But then suddenly I discovered such a round thing in one of the grooves. I'm pretty sure that this is the skin of a mite. It has probably been shed or it is a dead mite. I was really freaking out as I was hoping the video on the internet to be fake. After more and more dead mites and shed skin showed up on the edges, it was probably not fake. More and more interesting objects appeared, eggs and a super tiny mushroom maybe some kind of slime mode. Let's hope that there is nothing alive on my two week old phone. The LED light is a little more diffuse than the older versions and showed a super unique surface structure. Then I took a closer look on the edges and luckily there was only some sort of dirt at the edges of the protection glass I put on the screen, but no shed skin, no alive creatures were found. And of course, no worms. The worm shot is 100% fake. If you want to see more interesting stuff under the microscope, don't forget to subscribe. Cheers!